to create some handprint art. Are you ready? Great, okay, let's check our supplies. Do you have a piece of paper? Wonderful. Do you have some yellow or orange paint? Great. How about paint brushes? Excellent. Do you happen to have little tiny strips of colored construction paper that we can use for our art today? I'll show it to you really close. That's about how big mine are. They're yellow and orange. Great. Do you know what animal we are creating today? <gasps> wow, some of you do. Okay, this animal makes a really big sound. It goes like this, roar. Can you do that? Roar, it growls. And this animal can live in the jungle or in the savanna. This animal also starts with the sound, oh, that's right. We are going to make a lion with our handprint today. I'm really excited. You know how much I love creating handprint art. Okay, I also have googly eyes. They're real teeny, teeny, teeny googly eyes. You don't need them, but I had a few, so I'm going to use them for the lion. And I also have colored pencils to add some details to the lion as well. Okay, but do you have your hand ready? Good. And let's see, do you have your yellow paint or orange paint? Or maybe you wanna make a purple lion whatever color you want the body and head of your lion to be, go ahead and pick that right now. I am going to be picking orange. So I'm going to be painting my hand orange, my entire hand. Okay, if you can do this on your own, excellent. If you need help from your special adult, please make sure you ask for that and give your special adult an extra big smile for helping you gather all of these important supplies. Okay, let's see. I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm going to begin painting my entire hand. All right. And remember when we paint our entire hand, we need to go quickly, but not super fast. We want to make sure that we don't get paint everywhere. But we want to make sure to cover our entire hand. And we are going to be pressing our entire hand onto the paper. So I'm going to grab some orange, paint all over, make sure I get everything covered just like this. Okay. Doo, 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 doo. Just like that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand print and put it flat on my paper. Just like this. And make sure that I have it nice and flat and I get all the paint on there. I'll just show it to you. There's my hand print. Okay, now I have a very orange hand. What should I do? <gasps> That's right, before I do any more art, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hand. I'll be right back. This is a perfect time for you to wash your hands too. All right, my hands are clean. How about
about your hands? Did you wash them off? Great. And when you use the non-toxic washable paint, it comes right off. Okay, so now I have my handprint and I'm going to fill in all the legs. I'm going to, going to be connecting the legs with the orange paint and filling in this area right here where my handprint didn't touch the paper, just like that. Bringing it all the way down. Okay, so now I have his, this lion's body all filled in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my paper over just like this. Just like that. So that my lion will be standing up. Okay, did you see that? Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little pieces of paper. I have orange and yellow cutouts out strips see that and I'm going to be creating his big mane and that's the big hair area around his head and I'm also going to give him a tail so I'm going to grab my glue I have my glue right here and I'm going to just add a little bit of glue a little goes a long way i'm going to give him a big long yellow tail just like that and then oh i forgot one important step I'm, I'm going to give him a little bit bigger face area so he's gonna have a bigger face so that i can give him his smiley face just like that and now I'm going to continue to glue the little strips around that. You see, just like this. I'm going to do the yellow and the orange. I love lions. They are beautiful creatures. They are very smart and they have their families that are very important to them. Have you seen a lion in the zoo? You have. Have you ever seen a lion in the wild? Oh, some of you have. It's really, really exciting. So I'm gluing his big mane and it looks like I created these strips really, really long. Yours may be as long as mine or not as long. Either way is just fine. It's almost like the sun. So let's see, just like this. with your mane. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, I haven't decided yet, but I think I may use my special scissors and cut down the mane a little bit because it looks like I created a really long, long mane. Okay, I don't want to cover his face up. All right, now I'm going to get my two little googly eyes. Put his little googly eyes on. Just like that. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to, of course, give him a smiley face. <laughs> and now let's see what do you 
think I need to add? I have a very happy lion. Do you think I need to add anything else? Are you going to add anything else? He has his mane and he has his smiley face and he has a long tail. And you know what? I'm pretty proud of him. How about your lion? Oh, I would love to see your lion. I'm going to use my binoculars and look. Oh, wow. I see so many beautiful lions out there. I see really colorful ones. Great job, everyone. Okay, well, I was thinking that I'm going to name my lion Larry the Lion. And I am very proud to show my family my lion. I hope you're proud of your lion too. Can we make one more big lion noise? Roar! <laughs> Great job, everyone. That was a lot of fun.